I want to turn now to some other examples of how gendered language is being challenged, particularly through using social media platforms. Jane Gilmore is a freelance journalist who set up the Fixed It project to rewrite misleading headlines. What Jane's work makes clear is that the order and emphasis of words in headlines, the use of the passive voice and giving agency to inanimate objects, cleverly avoid saying that men, and sometimes women, consciously perpetrate acts of violence, sexual and otherwise, against other people, usually women and children. Jane's Instagram account has nearly 1,800 followers and her TED Talk on the topic received just over 4,000 views in its first 18 months on YouTube. Her work may not have gone viral, but it's nonetheless important, not least in providing an interesting model and a tool for further activist work. A campaign which did reach millions of people was started in Colombia by the popular newspaper El Tiempo on International Women's Day 2018. Using the hashtag Women Rewrite Women, women across the country were invited to rewrite sexist headlines. In similar vein, the feminist magazine Vagenda announced a competition on its Twitter page in 2014, asking followers to take a snarky headline and turn it around, using the hashtag the Vagenda with a prize offered for the best effort. Why should we be concerned about language? Why should we care about sexist headlines? Because gender matters. Language is deeply gendered. Because who has the power to name has the power to control. Because prefixing a profession with the word woman or female says that man is the norm, man is the standard, the normal against which women are the deviant. Language defines us, shapes us, positions us in society. But if language is culture, culture can change and has changed, is constantly evolving. Mainstream news media do not tell us about culture, they are culture. But digital technologies and social media are providing platforms for alternative narratives to flourish, to be read and to be heard. And some mainstream media are also shifting the discourse as they compete for audience attention with alternative media outlets such as BuzzFeed and Vice. But there's still some way to go before we see the end to sexist language in the news although putting gender on the agenda in journalism education and training is an important step in the right direction. The other important aspect is the way in which policy can bring about change.